30 years ago today, we were in the middle of the 51-day standoff in Waco. All these years later, the saga still commands curiosity. In fact, a new Netflix documentary on the Branch Davidians debuts today. In this morning's Daybreak Rewind, Chris Sadegi spoke to a Fort Worth author with a new book making new revelations. For now 30 years, the Waco story has been told, retold, twisted, even exploited. Facts still matter. But Fort Worth author Jeff Gwynn's new book is an attempt to again tell truth. There are people who are pleased that there's so much new information and everything is documented. For more than two years of research and interviews with ATF agents, Gwynn says some things surprised him. The first thing they all emphasized was we had no idea what the Branch Davidians believed. There was something here that I wanted to listen to. And that belief is why the Davidians welcomed the bloodshed. They were thrilled when the, ta the first attack came. That was the group where death was part of their agenda. That is what Koresh had prophesied. He inclined to me when he heard my cry. As for their leader's prophecies, that is also where Gwen found another revelation. We found definitive proof that David Koresh had plagiarized all of his major prophecies. The book's title is Waco, David Koresh, the Branch Davidians, and a legacy of rage. It's the rage that still prevails in many ways today. Waco is perfect for whatever you want to believe against. It's not just conspiracy theory anymore. It's the conspiracy industry. But as the book lays out, the truth is much more simple. There was human fallibility and it's tragic. But no, we can't make this into something worse than it even was. The conspiracy theories are convenient, but they're absolutely absurd. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegi. I'm not sure if you uh, caught this several years ago. I think it came out in 2018. Netflix came out with a uh, mini series mm -hmm. of the Waco story. So I'm really interested to see how both of these compare. Oh, yeah. And I remember exactly where I was on Hewland Street driving that day, listening mm -hmm. to the radio when it happened. So it's hard to believe it's been 30 years. Yes.